Happy National Lollipop Day! To celebrate, I thought I'd share a more unique idea. How about a recipe for lollipops using edible flowers? I'll give you the simpler version first. Ingredients? Clear hard candies, like peppermints, but make sure they're see-through, and dried pressed flowers. Like rose petals, chamomile, borage, lavender, marigolds, pansies, violets. You can look it up too if you want other ideas. You're going to need a stove, one silicone lollipop mold. Make sure it's for lollipops because most molds are made for chocolate which withstand much lower temperatures and we need something that can take high temperature. Lollipop sticks and the cello treat bags with the twist ties if you're going to give them away to other people. Instructions. Preheat your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the silicone mold on a baking sheet and add one flour face down in each cavity. Place one or two peppermint candies in each cavity or other see-through hard candies with a flavor that you like. If you're unsure of how much candy your mold will hold, try melting one candy first, then adding a second and melting it a second time. I figured out that these molds work best with two or three candies in each. Place the baking sheet and mold in the oven and bake for 30 to 60 minutes or until the hard candy has melted completely. If necessary, rotate the lollipop sticks to make sure they're completely coated and melted candy. Allow the lollipops to cool and harden completely before gently popping them out of their molds. This should take less than 30 minutes. Cooled lollipops should be enjoyed right away or packaged in the cello bags to keep them from getting too sticky. Now. If you want to make your own lollipop mixture, instead of melting down hard candies, here's what you need. Two cups of sugar, two third cup corn syrup, two third cup water, one dram of candy flavoring, um, I like blackberry, raspberry is also really great, cooking spray, and gel food coloring. Don't use too much food coloring. Little is better because you want to see through to the flowers within. Fresh, whole violets or rose petals or whatever you like. All right, spray your mold with cooking spray and set it aside. In a small saucepan, stir together the sugar, corn syrup, and water. Clip the candy thermometer to the side of the pan. Bring the mixture to a boil over high heat. Continue to heat without stirring until the bubbling mixture reaches the hard crack stage, which is 302 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove from the pan, heat, and stir in the flavoring and a very small amount of gel food coloring. Once the mixture has stopped bubbling, use a metal spoon to drop it into the molds. Carefully place a flower face down into the candy. You can use the end of a lollipop stick to slightly press the flower into place or use a toothpick. Quickly spoon just enough hot candy over the top of the flower to cover it completely. Place a lollipop stick into the candy and rotate about a half a turn. Allow the candy to harden completely and then you can remove it from the molds. Share and spread the joy. What a lovely gift and a treat on a hot summer's day. Happy National Lollipop Day, everyone.